In this video, we're going to go over how to install the It Might Get Loud products. I'm talking about the samplers and we'll even look at the MIDI. Now this is mainly for Pro Tools users because if you use Cubase FL Studio, anything that uses VSTs, you're probably already familiar with this process, but Pro Tools users will not be familiar with this. So let's go ahead and go through this here. After you make your purchases and unzip everything, the first thing to do after you unzip everything is take those zipped files I would suggest you back them up somewhere because you never know whenever you might need to uh, reinstall something. It's much easier than having to re-download everything, so be sure to back up your zipped files. All right, but on to the installation here. So you can see, of course, there are different versions that you that you download. So AX version, VST version, so on and so forth. Now, for VST users, you're already familiar with this process. All right, so for VST users, we just grab our DLLs. We'll head in here to wherever we install our uh, our VSTs to, which you know could be a lot of different places. The usual place is in Steinberg VST plugins, and then you'll just drag your DLLs in there. Of course, you can uh, put one in your 32 folder, one in your 64 folder. All right. Another place that is common is just a folder called VST. So we'll just locate VST plugins right there. So I have some in here as well. Okay, so you can just drag in those DLL files to whatever folder uh, that you prefer. So we'll go here to Steinberg, VST plugins, and I'll just grab our 64 here. I'll just move to VST plugins there. Continue, very good. Now technically you could put your 32 DLL uh, in your 64 folder, I mean technically, but go here to program files x86 and say Steinberg, VST, and I'll grab this and throw that in there. Okay, so that's the installation process for uh, the It Might Get Loud products, for at least the you know VST versions. Now, what about the VST3 version? Well, VST3s are actually stored in, in a different location. So at least here on Windows, we'll go to C, we'll go to Program Files, we'll head down to Common Files, which is right here. Come down to VST3. All right, you can see all my VST3s in there, and then we just do the same thing, drag it right in. There we go, installed, and those of course will come up now in things like FL Studio, uh, things that we use VSTs in, all right? But on to the AAX versions. Just get rid of that for now. For the AAX version, so here we have Assault, here we have the Gent Thugga, we'll do this one here first. Open the README if you want, and they give you a, uh, a layout there of where your, your files are installed. And you can always head over to our website here. I have a whole post on this of where are your AAX plugins located. So on Windows, it's C, Program Files, Common Files, Avid, Audio, and Plugins. And for Mac, that's your Macintosh uh, hard drive there. Library, Application Support, Avid, Audio, and, and Plugins there. All right, so this is, this is up there all the time. Reference it whenever you, you need to. So for Pro Tools, it's, this, it's gonna be the same thing. Now we have the 32-bit AAX plugin, which I, I suggest you just don't even mess with unless you have Pro Tools 10, okay? Uh, we have Pro Tools 2018 currently, so if you're on 11 or higher, just use the 64-bit version, all right? So we'll double-click into here, you can see contents, you can see what this looks like. So in order to install this, there's no installer, right? We don't just click install like most, like most AAX plugins. Instead, again, on Windows, we'll go to C, once again, you can always head over here and see exactly where you need to go if uh, you're on Mac or Windows there. We'll go to C, and we want Program Files, and we want Common Files. Oh, there's Common Files. We'll go to Avid, we'll go to Audio, we'll go to Plugins, and this is where all of our AAX plugins are installed. And one thing you may not know, you see these icons here? This is actually a folder icon. You can actually click into this. See that? Now look at the structure of this. We'll come over here to the, these drums here from It Might Get Loud. You can see that the folder, the structure is exactly the same. So contents, for example, pop in here. Contents over here. It's all the same, okay? That's just a little tip about uh, file folder uh, images. Some people think if you double click on this, it's gonna launch something. It's not, this is just, you know, this is just a file folder uh, icon. Okay, all of the content is actually in here. You can come in there, see DLL files and whatnot. It's just a different, different structure. 
as you can see. It's a uh, interesting format. You can see there's the actual AAX plugin file, which if we hop into here, we can, of course, go into here too and see that right there. But what we want to do is the same thing we did for our VSTs, okay? So once again, that's common files, Avid, there's audio, and plugins. Very good. Now again, make sure you have all of this backed up before you go moving things around, okay? But all you have to do is grab it and drag it in, move to plugins, there we go. So now the Jintthugga drums are installed. I'm not even gonna bother with the 32-bit version uh, because I, I can't even use it. So we can pop in here, double click here if we want, check it out. And we'll just drag the entire folder here over. And there it is, completely installed, ready to use. And I can do that with all of these uh, that I need to do here. So this one has a VST3 version. We already know where that goes. I'm not gonna drag it in right now, but just you know, go back to the start of this video to see how to do that. Same thing, so here's the AX version. Actually pop in here and let's just grab this here. Move that to plugins, right? And we can actually double click into it. Yeah, as you can see, there's the uh, contents. All right, so that's how you actually do the installation of your It Might Get Loud products for AAX, VST, and uh, uh, VST3. Now, some things may have a standalone version. In this case, this you can actually just double click this and it will go ahead and uh, and start up. There's actually no like real installation that you have to do uh, there, which is kind of cool. All right. So just put this file somewhere in uh, in your uh, file system. It doesn't have to be in the VST you know folders or the AAX folders or so on and so forth. Uh, back to our downloads. What about the MIDI? Well, the MIDI doesn't have an installation, right? You can just literally drag your files wherever you like to uh, store your your MIDI. So for me, I put all of that in my MIDI library. I just created a it might get loud MIDI folder here, and then just drag those in. You know, just drag them right in to whatever, you know, whatever file system, whatever the directory you want, and that's all there is for the MIDI, okay? So that's how you do the installation. It's a little bit different. Again, like I said, Pro Tools users probably aren't used to this process of, you know, finding your AAX plugin folder there, and then, uh, you know, dragging that in, but VST users are probably already familiar with that. All right, so that's how you install your It Might Get Loud products, and then in this case, we'll open up Pro Tools, you can see we have complete access to all of those, uh, all of those different plugins, and of course we can drag in our MIDI and play with our brand new plugins from. It might get loud.